the chef that I love so much, joins us from his test kitchen in London, Jamie Oliver. So good to see you. Jamie, I was trying to do the math. First of all, I cannot remember the first time I interviewed you. I think it had to be more than 20 years ago, it feels like, in my age. And I <laughs> called you the naked chef. I finally yes, got naked did. right with my Texas accent all these years later. <laughs> yeah, it was a very provocative name, but thankfully it wasn't about me. It was about my style of food, stripping it down, keeping it simple. And 20 years later, we're still here. We're, Sister, still, we're still here. here. Still here, We've still, still clothed, got jobs. and still eating good. <laughs> I love it. This new book Absolutely. is awesome. Um, you say that this is a bit different than the others. In what way? Well, I've never written a cookbook like this. Basically, I thought the best way to help people cook uh, and find it easy is if I find out what are they buying. So this is the first cookbook where I've ever used data to see what, what are most people buying most weeks in their supermarket shop. And that then, I got those ingredients and I built the chapters. And then I basically wrote seven exciting recipes with each one of those ingredients. And, you How know, did we you collect the data? Where, I mean, where, did you follow people around the grocery we begged, store? <laughs> we begged, did... we borrowed, we paid for it. And, and this is sort of like, you know, the highest level of kind of supermarket data that we could get globally. And what was really interesting is the most common things are pretty much the same in your country as they are in mine. And one of the things that you hear people talk about a lot is getting bored of having the same thing oh. all the time. So I wanted to write a book where there's lots of one pound wonders, tray bakes, minimal washing up, keep the recipes really simple, but also kind of introduce people to food that we know they're gonna love, but also a few new things as well. You are the only person I trust enough to cook a skinless chicken dish with because it often Listen, let, doesn't I, have flavor. I will totally share. And it's wonderful that we can share these recipes. That's what cooking's all about. So listen, there's sort of elements to my dish. In the book, we try and keep the ingredients to a minimum. Okay. So we got a few rashers of smoky bacon, right? Mm. A chicken breast. Many of us buy chicken breast every single week. Uh, I've got some breadcrumbs, some avocado, and I've got some chili sauce and a few little seasonings. And we're going to bring it together to be a beautiful plate of food and different textures. So pan on. Okay, hot I got heat. it. We're then going to get some of that smoky bacon and we're going to slice that up. You can go chunky or, or, or little bits. It doesn't really matter. I like chunky I'll bits. My that. team has cooked. And I have everything here in front of me, Jamie. My team Beautiful. is so gracious. They chopped up the chicken for me. I have my chicken breast under parchment paper. Excellent. One of I my love favorite that. things so, to do is to pound out chicken. I love it. You it's pound like away, Tiger. That's, that's all good. So I'm going to put the bacon in the pan just okay. to kind of get the flavors going. Gotcha. And uh, at the same time, I'll put some breadcrumbs in that pan just so it's kind of sucking up the flavor. So we want, we want crunchy breadcrumbs and, you know, crunchy bits of beautiful smoky bacon. I've done the same here. You're ahead of me, sister, because uh, you've got your chicken bashing happening. So the great thing about bashing the chicken mm -hmm. is you're making it thinner, it will cook quicker, you're tenderizing it, and it also gives you more surface area to season up and make really really tasty I so if it. we look at look at that chicken on my board we're now going to hit that up with some black pepper got some it. salt i'm going to give it a little kiss of lemon juice i've got that just to kind of get that all going and then once you've rubbed that all over the chicken we're going to take a little bit of flour onto the chicken just to give it a coating super simple and then we can toss if you look in the pan here now we've got the crispy bacon bits going. I've got mine going too. I'm not as savvy of a crispy bacon flipper as you, but I've got Don't my... You, oh, no, go you, you're looking good. Now, if you, sh if you shake those breadcrumbs just to yeah. one side, then what we can do is make a bit of space for the chicken. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to add a little bit of oil to the pan. Got it. And we'll keep an eye on this beautiful chicken and the breadcrumbs. Got and it. And then I'm just going to make like a... Um, it's not a guacamole, but I'm going to make a kind of smashed avocado. I want something really smooth uh, and delicious. Uh, to, with. to pair it with it, which I, you know, again, this is, like you said, it's not a guacamole, but it gives us a nice enhancement here. You put a little salt, lemon, and it was this yes. yogurt that's in front of me? Yeah, I mean, what I quite like to do is if I make it seasoned up and a little bit lemony, um, then I kind of ripple in that yogurt so it's yeah. fresh and clean. Okay. And if you think about it, we've got the crispy breadcrumbs, which are absolutely delicious. Mm. But I'll get the breadcrumbs out on the plate. And mm -hmm. I'll carry on cooking that chicken. Okay, I have the finished but, um, product here that my team sped along for me. So we beautiful. put, we plate, 
Oh, the guacamole. Well, you said it's yep. not guacamole. <laughs> well, it's not guac. It's, it's, it's a nice, fresh avo. A um, nice and avocado then, spread. And you, you can ripple through that yogurt. Okay. And we're going to hit it up with some chili sauce. You know, chili sauce is one of those ingredients that most of us have at, at home okay. to spice up our, our dishes. So I'm going to put that onto a plate. I love the colors, the green. This is beautiful, Jamie. I love it. And again, I love this one pan kind of thing you've got going on here. By the way, to our audience, Jamie's book is Seven Ways Easy Ideas for Every Day of the Week. It is out now. You can go on our website, meanwhile, to get this entire delicious recipe. I love anything that's ending includes a little hot sauce, Jamie. You are absolutely awesome so for this that. Chicken, my one's nice and golden now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just sprinkle over those beautiful bacon bits beautiful. and breadcrumbs. And then what yeah. I quite like to do is just give it a little swig with that chili <laughs> sauce. And I, this is a mild chili sauce. I've been like pretty generous. It. And uh, let me show you what we well, got. My let's, plate let's see is done, get. my darling. It is finish, finito, complete. Jamie Oliver, seven ways. I guess you can't. Can you tell which is Jamie's and which is mine? I bet you can't. Thank you, Jamie. Congratulations on the new book.